Sean Dyche has given his pre-match press conference ahead of Everton's trip to St Mary's when to face Southampton this weekend. The manager was asked where he assessed his team, where it is up to, or where he thinks it's up to at the moment. This is what the manager had to say. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's a balanced view of the situation. We didn't make a good start of the season. That was obvious. A lot of different challenges, um, which I know from inside the, the, the camp, especially injuries. I did say well, I thought we were getting players not just fit, but, but Premier League fit. And I think that's beginning to show with some of the performances. I think we were wide of our mark last time out, but we still got a, a valuable point. Um, I think the, um, the work that the staff, myself, put in and the players, and I think it's beginning to show signs again. And, and we've been through this before where challenges come our way and we come through it. And I think that's an important part of sort of the fabric of what the club has been over the last few years and what it continues to be at this, this current time. And I think that the team have to show that. And I think we are doing once again. And, you know, a tough, a tough run without doubt. Not the results we wanted to start the season with, and then we we slowly sort of begin to grind and play our way out of things, and we're showing signs of doing that, and we have done it before, so we we just continue with the progress that we can make. James Tarkowski. There you go. Uh, Sean Dykes was also asked about Beto. Obviously, the uh, Everton striker came off the bench last weekend to equalise and grab Everton a vital point against Fulham. The manager was asked about Beto and. Uh, the fact that he scored his first goal of the season last week. This is what he had to say. It builds belief and confidence, you know, in, in all players for, as a team when you're winning, but strikers, if you're winning or you're getting points from their goals, it bounds to bring a, or it's bound to, sorry, bring a, a real good feel factor. Um, that sense of involvement, sense of being part of it all. Um, like all here, he's had his question marks, but he's continuing to learn. He keeps working hard on the training ground, trying very well again today. So, He's showing signs that he's fit, he's available and he wants to play. And then finally, the manager was asked for a team injury update. Obviously, there's been a worry over Dwight McNeil this weekend, amongst others. This was the manager's injury update. Dwight, Dwight's got a chance. Um, we're hopeful. Um, he's done a bit of work with the physio team today, so we're hopeful on him. Um, Duke has well had a, a, a situation, but he's, he's been out there on the grass today, so we'll see how that reacts tomorrow. And Jimmy Garner's very unfortunate. He's got a longer-term injury. I mentioned last week about um, getting an assessment from the specialists and they've advised a period to slow him down again, take him off the grass. So we're going to have to wait and see on that one. But it's going to be weeks. So it's not going to be, it's not going to be days, that's for sure. Um, it's a, a back injury that they've just got to be a bit careful with. It's not aligned with his previous one. It's just a, one of them things. Um, so we're going to have to be careful with it. But it is going to be a longer period one, not a short one. When you say weeks, are you, are you looking at, at more than one month? Yeah, well, yeah, probably more so. You know, I mean, he's, you've got to remember he's three, three and a half, three to three and a half weeks. I can't remember the exact day when it when it sort of occurred, but that kind of head start, and then from here, a number of weeks. Yeah, so it's it's going to be beyond a month. I'm pretty sure of that, but we'll see. We'll see how quickly it settles. Shame for you, well, I'm shame for you. Yeah, of course. And with Tim, you know, having a broken sort of uh, or a stress bone in his foot, that's another challenge with two two good young midfield players out for us. And finally, Everton are apparently amongst the clubs keen on signing Corinthian striker Yori Alberto. The 23-year-old striker is Brazilian this year because they do it in a calendar year in Brazil, the way they break it down. He's got 23 goals in 50 games and six assists as well. Obviously, this coming off the back of lots of speculation that Beto will be moved on in January as well. So... We'll wait and see, but I'm all for Everton bringing in Brazilian footballers. Why not? Why not? That is it for the News Daily. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. And once again, a big thank you to Ned. This is the last video he's doing for us. See you later.